Today, we are about to get all sorts of moody and blue with the Moody Blues album, Days of Future Past, side one. And stay tuned until the very end of this video to hear my rating on this side. Also, if you haven't already, please make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to be notified whenever we have a new video coming up. And trust me, we've got quite a bit of those coming soon just for you. I'm also being told by the higher powers at YouTube that 80% of our viewers aren't even subscribed. So we've got to rectify that so that we can continue forward on this fantastical musical journey together. I promise we have some videos coming up that you won't want to miss. Now, I've got some good news and some bad news to relate to you guys. So first, let's get the bad news out of the way. There's this system near Bermuda that has a chance of becoming a storm named Nadine. But here's where the good news comes into play immediately. It's only got a 30% chance due to the conditions being less than optimal for development. So that also means if it does form, it's going to be short-lived and very weak. Which, thank God, because after all this pummeling of storms, I think we needed a break. Providing a grand entrance at track one, we have The Day Begins, which is quite appropriately titled, I must say. Is it on? <laughs> this already feels like magic sonified, turned into sound, just pure fantasy. It's this fantasy land that's being opened up. That decision um, to start off with that crescendo that felt like the sound just came racing into view. I feel like like it was the, the sonic equivalent to witnessing something coming from the distance and speeding at you and then poof, exploding into this this orchestral arrangement, so many strings and the way that the piano keys dance on top of the strings like, like little stars dancing on top of clouds. <laughs> I love that little resolve there. That was such a satisfying tension build to a release. <laughs> that instrumental element is so beautiful and delicate and gentle. It's like this this tiny ringing ping that's so bright and so precious. <laughs> oh my gosh, was that a harp? The way it just strummed out was so elegant and graceful. So the plot thickens with a bit of a moody shift, if you will. <laughs> the visual I'm getting is that we're definitely on this fantastical adventure, this journey, and here it feels like we've got a moment of peril. Cold-hearted orb that rules the night. We decide which is right and which is an illusion. Let insipid figures of light pass by. Challenges infinity and is sitting calm. Bring the warmth that countryside needs. <laughs> Oh my God. What a mystical, fantastical journey. I definitely got visuals of, a, of an adventure through an enchanted forest, so full of spirit and delight and a vivid imagery, just so beautiful. And then that poem acted as the perfect call to action. The way that the worlds of musicality and poetry collided in a different way than uh, the avenue that lyrics provide was just 
so beautiful and enchanting and magical. At track two, we have Dawn, dot, dot, Dawn is a feeling. I love this very bright, resilient, whimsical feeling of the woodwinds. I love that little moment right there. We had that ascending pattern. It created this hopeful stairwell leading us to this destination of imagination. <laughs> love the use of the minor chords in this section here. It feels like this shadow of vulnerability is cast and can be felt throughout all of the notes that are played here and it's even uh, reflected and projected in the vocals. Pleasure starts flowing, no future fear. I really, really love this song. I love the, the metaphor and the, the poetry and the beauty and the lyrics. I love the lyric, this day will last a thousand years if you want it to. Dawn symbolizes a new beginning. So taking inspiration off of the message of this song, I'm going to embrace this beautiful right now where I am being comforted, smothered, and soothed with the most beautiful sounds that's really painting a beautiful picture in my head. This is a movie. I feel like this is a musical movie in our mind. At track number three and second to last, we have The Morning dot dot Another Morning. And this is a quite curious title, and it makes me wonder if we're going to expand on the theme New Horizons Await, which would also go with the theme of this whole expedition and journey that has been uh, set out before us. And I wonder if that will be reflected in the sound as well. Like, so far there's been this air of the classical era being implemented into the sound, and I feel like that has really amplified the storytelling aspect of this album so far. So I wonder if we're going to see any changes in that. <laughs> this feels like we are stepping into a bit of Beatles territory. I feel like the vocal sounds a little reminiscent of John Lennon's voice and, and just the, this execution, this delivery, it's leaning a little more staccato. We have a little more percussion going on. And I don't know, lately everything just reminds me of Sgt. Pepper. Oh, I'm really enjoying this switch up from this like very straightforward percussive approach to this more muddy sound where all, all the notes kind of bleed into each other and then we have that ahs in the background that really help perpetrate that sound. Yesterday is dreams. Back to more chipper pastures. <laughs> I just realized what that little melody of the da 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 reminds me of. It reminds me of um, Elf whenever Buddy is talking about his journey through the candy cane forest or you know whatever that whole spiel. For some reason that melody activated the search engine bar in my brain and that's what came up. Exactly where I came from. Santa must have called you. fairly certain that this album has been used as referential source material for lots of things. Movies, music, all of it. Numero cuatro y último hoy tenemos Lunch Break dot dot Peak Hour.
Okay, instant change of pace. I love how this frantic scurrying is being portrayed, right? Like we have this sense of urgency, like, like being in a rush that is coming through very well. They're crescendoing down to the end. I quickly need to regroup and get my emotions straightened out because that was uh, a jump scare if I've ever heard one. <laughs> So if our last track veered a bit Beatlesque, here we're um, starting to approach a little more Beach Boys territory. Are you hearing it too? I love this surf rock sound coming through and those gorgeously executed harmonies. of basking under the California sun is coming through. To say that I'm impressed would be the understatement of a century. They really showcased their vast range of, uh, of ability here. Um, they have such an eclectic and eccentric sound. Uh, with every single song, they showcased a different um, facet of their abilities and, and uh, genres too. Like they are the master of so many different genres that completely seem to clash. I mean, we had classical elements, we had Baroquean elements, we had um, like some magical, enchanted, mystical elements. We had the infusion of spoken word and poetry and profound depthness. And then we had rock and roll and we had this like surfer vibe, very chill, very cool, very groovy, just so much. I'm so excited to see what awaits us on side two. And if I had to give this side a rating, wow. Um, this would uh, land a little more on the difficult spectrum on uh on rating because it's just it's so dynamic and like each each song is so contrasting like even within the song there's so many contrasting uh genres and elements and things that you wouldn't think work together but they made it work together and they made it magical so <sighs> this is only my second rating ever and this is going to be my highest rating so far i'm going to give this a 9.7 out of 10, which I'm gonna try not to be handing out nines left and right, um, but this deserves it. But you know what? Let me let you in on a little secret. There is something here that does deserve a 10 out of 10, and it is our astoundingly valiant donation superheroes. I love you guys so very much and I truly mean it when I say that all this is only possible because of you guys. And as another form of thank you to you, you will get priority with all of your suggestions, all of your recommendations. They go right to the top of our list. Thank you dearly, Marissa Martinez, Kevin Corkill, Ed Myers, and Swedish Chef. There's a very special little number dedicated just for you. Marissa.
like to help support me and contribute to this channel, you can click the link in the description and that will take you to my website and there you can make a donation. Every single donation is so greatly appreciated and helps so much more than you know. I cannot wait to see you guys here again tomorrow. And until then, what are we gonna do? Say it with me now, take it easy.